Hello everyone, so today I want to do another tag for you, yay! Um, now this one I saw Ingrid from Miss Glamorazzi do and she tagged everyone to do one as well as a few specific people, so I thought I'm going to join in because it seems like a whole lot of fun. Um, and this one is entitled The Most Worn Things Tag. Um, now, Ingrid's was the summer edition, but here in Australia, it's currently winter, so I thought it was only appropriate to do the winter edition. So, um, also, I should note, if you see me looking over that way, it's because I have all the questions laid out there. So, without further ado, I'm going to launch straight in and start off with question numero uno, which is my most worn nail polish. Now, let me see if I can find them. Um, I'll start off by saying that um, at my workplace, I'm not actually allowed to wear nail polish, which makes me so sad um, because I'm a nail polish fiend. I love, love, love painting my nails um, and getting creative with it. Creative with them, I should say. I have more than one fingernail. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, it makes me sad that I can't paint them all the time, but whenever I have an opportunity to do so, um, I will paint them either in this color by China Glaze and it is entitled Sci-Fi and this is like a super shiny metallic silver. It is just so awesome. I love it for the winter time because it kind of ties in with the whole, you know, gloomy winter theme where, um, you know, it's like the blacks and the grays and the browns and things like that that people always tend to wear. Um, so it's like that, but with a bit of a unique twist with the, like, the shininess. It just really makes an outfit for me. Um, I love it. It's just that little something different. So, yes, love this one. And the other nail polish that I've been going for is this nail color from Astralis in the color Nick is in a Knot. How hilarious is that name? Um... Now this isn't, I mean looking at it, it looks more of a summery colour than a winter colour. But it's because I'm missing summer, so I thought I would just brighten up um, some of my outfits. Like I said before, um, you know, the grey, black, neutral kind of outfits that, well, I personally tend to go for um, in the winter time. So I like to use this to brighten it up and it's just this gorgeous... Uh, red toned pink so really really like this one now Astralis um, yeah I don't think very many people have heard of it but they're actually super incredibly amazing especially for the price like they're super cheap I think oh, how much was this nail polish now anyway I'll link it down below if you're interested otherwise I'm just going to be rambling on forever so I'll move on to the next question um, which is my most worn hair product now I don't tend to do a whole lot with my hair, um, but the ends of my hair, as you can see, they tend to get a little bit unruly and they like to do their own thing and they tangle and knot and just frizz all over the place. So um, I like to tame them down a little bit and I straighten them. Um, and another thing I do is I blow dry my hair um, every time I wash my hair. So like every three days or so. So yeah, I need to wash my hair. But so it's important to use a heat protectant spray, especially because I'm always using, well, yeah, I'm always using heat on my hair. So um, I use this one from Tresemme and I love this so much. This is like my third bottle of it and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a fourth bottle very soon because I'm running out. Um, but it is their Heat Tamer Protective Spray. Um, and it is amazing. Not only does it smell good, it just leaves my hair shiny. I love the effect it gives. So this is my most used hair product of the winter time and every time. Okay, now it's on to question number three, which is my most worn bag. So <clears throat> it is this black satchel. Um, and where's this from? It's from just like a super cheap store. Oh, it's from Ruby Shoes. Um, so it wasn't that expensive, but it has been so convenient. Um, I use this for uni. Um, it has a nice long strap, so you can wear it over your shoulder or across your body. And it has so many compartments on the inside, so it can just hold all my stuff. And I also use this outside of uni as well. Just 
you know, if I'm going shopping or anything like that. Um, if I get any small things, I can put my purchases in here. And yeah, it's just, I've been using this a lot and it goes with everything, which I love. So this is my most worn bag. Okay, now it's on to question number four, which is my most worn shoes. So it is these babies. Now, these are just some cute little ankle boots with super long laces, which is a little bit of an inconvenience. But nonetheless, I've been wearing these all the time. It's suitable for winter because of the closed in toe. Um, again, black goes with anything. I can wear these with tights, without tights, with dresses, with pants, with whatever. Um, and yeah, they're super comfortable. Love them. And I really love the floral pattern on the inside. I know no one else can see it, but it makes me happy inside. So um, yeah, I just love these. And these are from, I think these are, what are they? These are from Bet. So yes, really like these, been wearing them a lot. And now it is onto my most worn accessories. So I've been wearing these bangles a lot. Um, now these are all individual, I'll show you one by one, but I've been piling them all together. Um, the first is just this kind of silver metal bracelet, which I got for my birthday in combination with, oops, if I can get it out. Uh, combination with this bracelet which is so super cool it has this like little dangly thing hanging off which kind of looks like a little feather duster so if there's ever a um, dusting emergency I will be set um, so yeah I love that and also um, this bracelet and this bracelet which I also got for my birthday but last year and these are both from Thomas Sabo and they're amazing you can buy a little individual chains for them and yeah that one's my dog who's lying next to me at the moment but these have been my my most worn accessories in terms of jewelry but I also have something else to show you and it is this leopard print scarf um it's just it goes with most of my outfits, it's warm, but also light and airy. Um, and yeah, just completes an outfit and protects me from the chilly winds of Australia. So, also been wearing this a lot. Now I'm on to question six, which is my most worn clothing item. And it would either have to be this black cardigan I'm wearing at the moment because it's so easy to throw over anything like your dresses like now or t-shirts um, or wear under things to layer it up if it's super cold or this oh I'm sitting on it um <laughs> or this jacket if I can get it the right way around but this one is from um country road yeah that's it country road yeah country road um and it is it is this super warm woolen cardigan um, and I just love the print on this. It kind of makes me want to go sit in some snow. Well, not sit in some snow, but in a nice cabin with snow around me on the outside of the cabin. Um, so yeah, I really have been wearing this a lot just around the house um, to keep me nice and snug and toasty warm. Or even if I'm just popping out to do a few errands, I'll just pop this on and it is awesome. And yeah. Moving on to the next question. So number seven is my most worn foundation. And this is Meron's Celebre HD Cream Makeup Pro Foundation. Um, and I got this off of eBay for about $10. It's super inexpensive. Um, Goss Makeup Artist has talked about this um, on numerous occasions and always talked about how amazing it is and how inexpensive it is. Um, so I thought I would give it a go because I was kind of looking for a new foundation and ever since then I have not looked back. It is so amazing. Um, it's very buildable in coverage. Um, it just gives a gorgeous, gorgeous finish. And yeah, I've been loving this. The only thing with this at the moment is it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but nonetheless, I've been wearing it every single day. So... Yes, that is my most worn foundation. The next question is my most worn blush. And this is the color Mocha from MAC. And it is this gorgeous kind of, if I can open it, there we go. 
this gorgeous kind of mauve, um, plummy, yeah, a mauve plum kind of color. And I love this for the winter time because it just gives my cheeks a nice flush of color that's not um, too bright, like it could be for the summertime or anything like that. It's just a nice, healthy flush of color that could be due to the cold. People will never know. So um, yeah, I've been wearing this all the time and yeah, I love this. And the next question is my most worn lip product and it is this tinted lip balm from Burt's Bees in the color Pink Blossom. And I love this. Um, during the winter time, my lips tend to get a little bit dry and by a little bit, I mean very dry all the time. So um, it's very necessary for me to take a lip balm with me practically everywhere. So I've been loving this one because it is tinted. It is, yeah, super moisturizing. It gives a nice healthy sheen to my lips. Um, and the color is absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually wearing it now. Um, it's like a my lips but better color. Um, and yeah, again, the color is buildable. So if I want a more intense color, like if I'm, I, like, I wear this going out. So if I'm doing that, I can, um, yeah, add a few more coats and the color is more intense, or if it's just on a day-to-day -day basis, I just, yep, one little schlup around the lips, and I'm good to go. So, yeah, really like this one, and now it's on to my most worn mascara. So my most worn mascara is Maybelline's The Falsies Volume Express, which I'm sure is no mystery to a lot of you. Um, it is a very popular mascara, and it's just super easy to get your hands on. It's just from your local drugstore. I'm sure you can get it there. And I love this because it gives a nice dramatic black effect to my eyelashes, which I really, really like for the winter time. I tend to go for a more dramatic eye look um, because I can get away with it and the sun won't completely melt it off my face. So really been liking this, wearing this practically every day. This is my most worn mascara. And now I'm on to my last question, which is my most worn eyeshadow which is also from MAC and it is in the color Woodwinked. And before you ask, yes, it's in a little packet. I need to get myself a palette, but this color is so, so gorgeous. I think you can wear it in the summertime, you can wear it in the wintertime, you can wear it for all seasons. It's very versatile. Um, I've just been using this in um, like a really nice kind of brown smoky eye. I've been loving it like that and it looks really good with the scarf as well, having a nice brown smoky eye. So I either just put this as a wash in my eyes or use it with other browns, whatever. It just gives a gorgeous look. And even in the winter time here in Australia, we do also get some sunshine. So the little bit of, well, the shimmer that it has looks gorgeous in the sun as well. So this is my most worn eyeshadow and that is all for this tag. So um, thank you, Ingrid, for tagging everyone. I've enjoyed doing this. And I tag all of you who are watching this who haven't done it yet to do it too if you make videos. Or even if you don't make videos, just write a comment down below because I would be interested in hearing about your most worn things for whatever season you are in. So yeah, that is all for now. I will speak to you guys later. Bye.